this within, within this distance here they can move and go into the town during mm -hmm. night hours and they, they look for a safer, safer place. Maybe even if it's under the verandas, the elders at times go and sleep. Mm. Yeah. While the children go in the night commuter centers. My father was killed by a driver. And my, father, my mother also died fully in 1995. So we are left with some of our auntie. And that auntie of mine, she was also a widower. He was keeping us and we grew and we grew. And now he has also died. We are left with only the children. Now I am the only person big in our house. We are sleeping here. Because we fear the rebels, because if you sleep at home, the rebels they may come and abduct all the children, whether you are big or not. If not abducting then they can kill you also. Mm -hmm. so. When in, in 1999, when we was in, in, in Pakwelo camp, the rebels came and attacked a part of them. And my father was killed, and my mother also was killed by, by an axe. Then they told me that if go home and tell that I am, I, you have killed your father because they, they lie gamented. Then I, I came, I cannot even do anything. I go to my mother-in-law. My mother told me that eh, 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 it is up to you. you when, when, your was, when your father was in this world, they, they told me that I'm a poor man, then it is up to you. Then for me, I cannot, I cannot do even anything. How long were you with the rebels? About one month. Different children, formerly abducted, uh, because with those ones, at, at most times we had a little bit of a very hard time with them. We find that they have the problem of rejection in the community. They find a very different perception of their whole life. Even their own, you find some of them being rejected by their own parents because they say. And yet it was not their will. Yeah, yeah it was not their will to go. <laughs> he went for water and he failed to get water, and now he's crying because they are pushing him here and there. When I look at the 12 year old have to take care of a family and I look at my 12 year old, uh, this was a 12 year old boy and she had three other, other two brothers and a sister and he, the poor boy had gone to collect water that he, uh, I think the line was so long and he couldn't, he wasn't able to get water and then somehow within, uh, uh, during the time he lost, he, he lost his, his can for carrying water probably somebody took it by mistake, and he came back cry. And I, I, I imagine my 12-year-old son, uh, right now he's 13, but at 12, he wouldn't, I would expect him to make himself up, not even a cup of tea, but he is a boy supposed to take care of a, a, a family. I don't know. And being a mother, I know what it means for, your, for, for the family not to have food mm. and have a bed or all they had in the house was a mat. They didn't have a blanket inside and lost both of the parents in, during the war. He has to cater for the family, prepare for them food if there is, it's there, and wash for them. And to make it was the last born four years old, she's even disabled, she's lame. She has to be carried out and brought inside and when she wants to go to the bathroom, somebody has to help him. And this is a 12 year old staying with such a family. <laughs>